G'day, Warwick Powell here from Smart Trade Networks. It's Tuesday, the 23rd, I think it is, of August 2021. Well, it's been a few days since we launched version one of the Smart Trade Networks credentialed marketplaces, which we did last week. The launch also saw us give birth to a number of important initiatives, and I want to touch on some of these in this short video and hopefully provide some guidance to people in the community about what some of these initiatives are and how it is that people can begin to get more involved in this ecosystem. Firstly, we launched the Global Diversified Projects Portfolio. Now, this portfolio is a growing cohort of projects that are being developed within the Smart Trade Networks ecosystem making use of the infrastructure and the tools that have been developed over the past few years out of our research and development collaborations at places like Queensland University of Technology and in collaboration with folk at the Future Food Systems Cooperative Research Centre, for example. At last count, there are almost 40 projects in the pipeline already, and there are more projects coming in. And over the next few years, we would expect these numbers of projects to grow considerably as leverage and collaboration opportunities really begin to emerge. Now these projects cut across diverse sectors and geographies, delivering a very strong diversified portfolio. Now what this means is that the opportunities can be optimised and downside risks from a projects development point of view and a resource management and allocation perspective um, can be also better managed from a whole of systems, whole of ecosystems point of view. So the projects portfolio really sees projects emerge that touch on just about all aspects of Maslow's hierarchy of needs from the very fundamental material requirements that human societies have and human individuals as well in terms of food and shelter and those sorts of things all the way through to the need for emotional sustenance and entertainment, education, capacity building and such like. So there's literally something within the portfolio for everybody and which touches on the whole gamut of human requirements. Secondly, we launched officially the new incorporated not-for-profit association, the Data Integrity and Supply Chains Association, or DISCA for short. Now, DISCA has been part of our working lives for the best part of the last two to three years. Initially in an unincorporated format, and prior to that, in the various threads of activities that our ecosystem members have been working on in their own capacity, as well as in other collaborative contexts. Now, the unifying thread of DISCA and the work of the individuals who've been involved and the organisations that have come together to give rise to this association is a belief that existing supply chain information systems are simply not up to scratch anymore and that there are better ways of harnessing global collective resources to build and drive for better systems. And these systems are ones that deliver integrity for all participants in the supply chain that deliver business results that are good for people, good for communities, and are good for the planet. So this is what's underpinned um, our work in uh, the not-for-profit sense, um, and DISCA is the embodiment of that. Now, DISCA also provides us with a very strong ongoing community driven focus which enables uh, us to harness commercial and non-commercial projects and mobilize stakeholders across the gamut of our social body and align them to overarching ecosystem development benefits so this is really about creating a membership driven association that touches all corners of the world and which delivers mutual benefits through reciprocity for everyone involved in accordance with the contributions that they make. Now to track all of that, we've made use of blockchain technology. So DISCA 
is the issuer of the STN token. The STN token is the membership rewards token, which tracks contributions and efforts from members up and down the global supply chain systems that we work with. And it also is something that anybody anywhere in the world can hold. And when they hold an STN token, they are a member of DISCA. Now, in complex economic and social ecosystems, there are a range of functions that digitalized tokens need to perform. There's rarely a one size fits all approach. And so in the smart trade networks world, we actually have a number of key functions which are fulfilled by different tokens. So let me just go through some of them with you now. There is the membership rewards function, and this is what the STN token is all about. Now, the STN network is an economic empowerment data system, and the use of that network generates economic value, and the proceeds from that network are actually one of the benefits that STN holders can have access to. Other benefits include being able to access a credentialed marketplace where uh, members will be able to access better pricing, discounts and those sorts of things. Um, as well, members will be able to run archive nodes and contribute to network information security. So uh, we're actually running a bit of a special campaign at the moment. So for people who hold at least a thousand STN tokens by the 1st of October this year, 2021, they will receive a pre-configured archive node, which is uh, set up on Raspberry Pis. And running one of those nodes will contribute to network security and also enable the person running the archive nodes to earn more STN tokens as a recognition of their contribution to the network itself. Holders of 1,000 STN tokens by 1st of October 2021 will also go onto the list to receive an STN privacy smartphone with pre-configured pre STN features and we're targeting the distribution of those in early 2022. Now the benefit of membership uh, are embodied by the STN token. Holding the STN entitles someone to benefit, um, to benefit such as um, network uh, member bonuses amongst other things and these benefit bonuses are driven by a combination of network volume and velocity so the more the network is used to transact real economic value the more transactions there are the more the network generates in fees the more there is to rebate to DISCA members there's also a need for asset-backed registered securities, particularly in supply chains looking to either expand or grow or to upgrade infrastructure and whatnot. Now, we will be doing this in a number of ways, ensuring, of course, at all times that we comply with the relevant regulatory requirements in different jurisdictions. So one of those is the STN5. Now, this is distinct from the STN token. The STN5, is an asset-backed registered security issued originally under license in Australia. It is asset-backed. Its focus has been on projects that contribute to improve food production systems and has included, amongst other things, financing activities in the beef supply chain systems, activities involved in improving data analytics and in software development. Now, STN5 holders have a right to access profits and dividend flows generated by the asset-backed activities that are invested in with funds raised via the sale of STN5. STN5 token holders also have baked in revenue streams from network activities themselves through the smart contracts and the multi-sig infrastructure that has been rolled out. So there are some distinct benefits that are accrued to STN5 token holders as distinct from STN membership reward tokens. Now keep an eye out for other registered securities in the near future as we bring real estate asset fractionalization, IoT decentralized data economics and electric vehicle projects to the community for example. And they're not the only ones but they're certainly ones on the near term horizon that will be made available as securities. 
Now, buying and selling things on credentialed marketplaces also needs a means of payment token. So this is the third function that needs to be enabled by way of a digitalized token. Within the Smart Trade Networks marketplace, the payments token is the STNP. So P for payments. So this is a stable coin in effect that is redeemable over the counter on a dollar for dollar basis where one STNP is equal to one USD. We've kept it simple and straightforward. So now there are a number of ways members of the community can get involved in and contribute to and benefit from being part of the Smart Trade Networks ecosystem. You can join DISCA by buying STN tokens and holding these tokens entitles members to a range of benefits, some of which I've touched on earlier. There are also a growing number of multi-sig groups within the ecosystem that will deliver distributed governance over many of the ecosystem's emerging areas of activity and being a token holder entitles you to be involved in those. You can also earn STN tokens by getting involved with things like the Learn and Earn program or through making contributions in kind through things like marketing and community capacity building effort and what have you. Contact us, someone in the team, if you've got some ideas about how you can contribute to building the ecosystem and earn tokens along the way. As a business, by joining the Smart Trade Networks as a participating enterprise, using the technical infrastructure to register and track assets and listing them for sale on the marketplaces, you will also earn STN tokens as an acknowledgement of your contribution to ecosystem diversity, vitality and strength. And you can also invest directly in the various enterprises as well as straight into the Smart Trade Network's global organisation, which will also earn you STN membership reward tokens. In this case, you benefit from both membership rewards and project enterprise equity. For a short time, we'll also enable direct swapping of STN member reward tokens with STN5 asset-backed security tokens for those looking to create some diversification. So, the ecosystem is starting to move forward across the globe. We have projects in Australia, South Africa, various countries in Asia, China, Hong Kong, Japan, as well as projects in South America, beginning now to reach into the North American continent. Our projects touch on food systems, from beef through to seafood, through to wine and spirits, as well as into areas such as fractional property ownership, fractionalised electric vehicle ownership and operations, all the way through to entertainment products such as films and computer games. We've got an exciting project coming up in decentralised ecological systems IoT data collection, which we believe can transform the ways in which communities as a whole participate in and contribute to collecting and analysing the information that we all need to make better decisions about economic supply chain systems and their impacts on our ecosystems. We've got some exciting projects in the renewable energy space, touching activities in credentialing um, carbon offset and carbon credit certification, as well as in the rapidly growing area of green hydrogen and green metals credentialing. We are ready to hit the ground running hard now as we embark on our next phase of research and development. And uh, we look forward to your participation and contribution and involvement in our ecosystem as we grow supply chain systems that have the integrity that we all seek. Talk to you again soon.